color. So I was really sad to throw this out, um, and I was saving it for the video. But recently, um, my mom and I were at TJ Maxx, and we found um, not this exact style, which I love the style with the zips, but we found this color, Michael Kors bag, um, and I'm going abroad next semester to Paris, France, which is really exciting. And so, you know, I, I do need a purse and smaller than the one I have. Um, so we found that one, so I'm actually getting it for Christmas or my birthday. I don't know which one. Um, so I was with her, and I know that I'm getting that, but I don't mind because I know I'm going to like it, and it, I'm so excited that it's in that color. So anyway, there's that little story. Uh, the next thing are these Q-tips, and I believe they're the Q-tip brand. Um, yeah, I think it's the Q-tip brand. I love these. These are my favorite. We get a huge pack of a bunch of those big sizes, um, like in a little set, uh, from Costco. The next thing I finished up, oh, I should have put this with the other one, was the Clear Scalp and Hair Beauty Therapy Total Care Nourishing Daily Conditioner. Love this conditioner. Um, I am looking to try new uh, shampoo and conditioner because I've been using those for a couple years now and I just want to give my hair a break and like switch it up. So if you guys know of an inexpensive um, brand of shampoo and conditioner that you really do like that makes your hair soft, please let me know. Uh, the next thing is the Saline Solution Sensitive Eyes um, Up and Up brand uh, saline solution and I use this to clean my belly button piercing. Um, I got that done about two years ago but I still clean it religiously um, twice a day. The next thing is the skin smoothing, soothing and smoothing eye cream. This is a little like deluxe size sample or the full size I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure I got this in a Ipsy bag. Um, it was nice. It's not my favorite. I'm not gonna um, purchase it. The next thing is this Palmer's cocoa butter formula. Um, with vitamin E swivel stick, and I just use this as a, sh as a, not a shampoo, as a chapstick, but you could use it for, like, your dry bits, apparently, um, and it's not used up, but it's definitely old, and it's just getting a little gross, so I'm throwing it out, but I did really like it. This next thing is this Michael Todd True Organics Intensive Organic Cream Eye Treatment. This was nice, but unfortunately it's separated. Well, number one, the packaging is just way too big for an eye cream. Yeah, I know there's an easier way for this. You're supposed to, the idea is you're supposed to, like, put this applicator. It's supposed to be nice and you're spun around. That does not work. I just put it on my finger and dabbed it in. Um, but it separated on me, which I really didn't like. And there's no way to really shake it or anything. So I really would not repurchase this. I had heard good things, but um, it wasn't for me. The next thing is this Color Combos Girl... Mm, double function mascara in black. I got this when I was abroad in um, Hong Kong last January. Um, I had I didn't open it right away, so don't worry about that. And it, it's really cool. It's kind of like the the Mac mascara that it comes with. This it's the same brush, but it just takes off different amounts of the product. So it's really cool, but it, it did dry out on me, and it didn't do anything amazing for my lashes. But I do love the container. Um, and that kind of double function there. Next thing are these EOS lip balms. I used to love these, but I'm really not feeling them anymore. These are not that old, but the smell, oof. Oh, well, I can't even smell it. They've just gone bad um, based on the smell. This one is not even that old, this white one. So, or cream, so that's pretty disappointing. Uh, next lip balm is this Soft Lips Cube, and it's the mint one. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but I love this. I use it, um, you can see as I've completely used up all that I can. Um, and I use this before bed because I love using a mint lip balm before bed. Um, now moving on to, um, nail stuff. These are the OPI drip drop, drip dry drops. Um, unfortunately it just dried up on me. Um, it did come with a cap, but I figured just putting this cap on it would be fine, but they dried out on me. Um, but they were nice when I had them. And then this is the INM Out the Door, um, America's number one super fast drying top coat for nails. And I did really like this. It's made in the US. I probably will repurchase this from Sally's. Um, next I have this Re Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. I love this. This is Emily Noel's favorite. Um, and I do really like this, but unfortunately, this always happens to me. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, but the cap is not completely on. And it's because whenever I use it, um, it just gets all gunked up around that middle right there. 
and then I just can never close it. So I do go through these pretty fast, not because I run through the product, but just because of how gross and messy it gets. So that's pretty unfortunate. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It is a really nice lash glue. Um, this next thing is this Sils d'Enfer Mascara Maxi Lash. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was reading the French. Maxi Lash Volume Creating Curl Sculpting Mascara, mascara by Guerlain in um, number one noir. And here's what it looks like. I do believe I liked this. Um, it was so long ago that I forget. I, I do think I liked it though. A um, couple more products. Um, I have this Purity Made Simple by Philosophy Cleanser. I love this cleanser. Um, I did hear someone say that it, it does have like parabens or something bad in it. Um, that's not too good for you. But I do really like it, so um, I don't know if I'll purchase it or not because it is quite expensive. So we'll see. I'm throwing away my beauty blender. I'm actually pretty disgusted to, to show this to you guys. I've had this for maybe a year or two. Um, and it, it was still in good condition, but it's really stained. It's really light pink, and it's lost its shape. I just got a new one. That's why I'm throwing these, this one out. Um, and just that one, in comparison, it's it's bright pink and it's completely different shaped. Actually, let me bring it over here. As I was saying, um, just compared to how this is my new one, you can see it's this beautiful point and it's bright pink and then this is my old one. And it's stained and it's gross and it's time to go. Um, so that is in my empties. It's now another eye cream. I didn't realize I had so many eye creams, um, but this is the Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate from Fresh. Um, and I ended up, I didn't go through this, I ended up pumping it out into here because I thought I could mix it and it wouldn't separate as much, but that did not work. Um, so I went through this and then, but right now there's leftover of this in it. And I did like this, it was fine. Um, the best eye cream I've ever used is the Bobbi Brown. Um, eye cream I've used both of hers, the less expensive one and the more expensive one. Um, and I think the less expensive one actually was my favorite. Okay, now onto a body wash. I have this Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret. Love this scent. I really want to um, purchase this again, but I have so many other, um, uh, so many other uh, body w washes. Um, sorry, totally lost the word there. But yeah, I have so many other body washes that I probably um, won't repurchase this for a while. But once I feel like I need to have a body wash um, and I go through some of my other ones, I will repurchase this. And uh, the last thing in here is just this, like, loofah thing. Um, I do really love this because you can, like, get your back really well by holding the strings. But unfortunately, um, it got stuck in my, um, around my knob to turn on my water and my shower and this broke. So its function kind of um, didn't work anymore. But I did repurchase another one of those. So those are all my empties. Let me know if you guys like these videos. I love watching empties videos, so I was really excited to um, make one. This was like probably five or six months in the making because um, I honestly don't go through that many products because I have so many. Um, so, but I, you know, I am trying to get better about using up products and feeling good about that. And I like kind of having this online journal for myself. That's what I'm calling these empties videos for me. Um, cause it's just good to remind myself what I went through and what I liked. And it kind of is, lets me, um, part ways with my products. I'm really weird like that. I'm such a pack rat, as you can see with all the stuff behind me. Um, so yeah, like I said, this just reminds me like, okay, Becca, you can use this up. It's good. It's going to go bad anyway, you know, in a couple years or whenever, um, you know, soon. So you can use this up and hey, put up this empties video and it, you know, it'll remind you that yes, you want to buy this again, but you know, use it up for now. Um, I so I hope that makes sense, but I hope you guys like watching them as well. Cause I, like I said, I like making it, um, you know, just because and also for myself to keep that running list going. So anyway, I um, hope you guys are all doing well um, and I hope you guys are using up your products and until next time, bye everyone.